Hello, my name is Samantha and welcome to studio vlog number four. Let's get into it. Today is Thursday, May 27th. Last week's video was a long one. There was over five hours of footage that I cramped down into an hour and I cut so much fabric and it was ready to go for Chartreuse and Co. However, I wasn't able to get everything done. I have quite a few things that are like three fourths of the way done. And so I have taken the past couple days just to regroup, relax. I've been working on applications for different craft fairs and I've gotten accepted into different um, fairs that I applied to a while ago. So just getting the calendar all set. I know I said before that I have a craft fair every weekend from now until November, which is true. However, not all of them I have submitted my application or I haven't uh, been accepted yet. So that's why the dates haven't been posted yet. Uh, anyways, so lots of paperwork this week. And then the next thing I want to work on tomorrow is uh, getting my Etsy updated. I need to update my listings. I need to update my photos. Uh, with my focus being on the markets these past couple weeks, um, when I've made a new product like the aprons or the pillows, I've just quickly taken a photo or maybe even reused a different photo and just gotten the listing up there. So it definitely needs to be revamped and uh, beautified. So um, the next couple days this weekend, I'm going to be working on finishing up all the items that I have almost done that were cut the last video, as well as getting my Etsy all updated and the applications that are due this week in. Happy June! Today is Tuesday, June 1st. Let me show you the progress that I've made. So I finished this pillow. This pillow. This one and all my pillows have concealed zippers. They're not invisible zippers, so they're not hard to open and close. They're a regular zipper. They're just hidden. And then I finished four of the little pouches. If you remember when I cut this up, the fabric is going in the wrong direction because that is the only fabric I had left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these into my... Um, free gift basket. So what I have when I go to craft fairs is if you show me on your phone that you are um, subscribed on YouTube and follow on Instagram, then I have uh, one free gift um, for you. Uh, here I have some scrunchies, which are uh, almost done. I need to thread the elastic and um, sew them shut. Big one that I need to put the elastic. And then here is the gift bag. I need to do the channels and add the um, string through, but I think it is so awesome. I really like the colors. The inside is the brown. I think it turned out really well. So I need to finish up these guys and then the, oh, I also finished these placemats. So red, red, so it's a set of four. Finish those up. And then I just have the uh, napkins to finish. Napkins and coasters. Um, these guys. So I just need to turn on some TV, do some ironing, and then do some sewing. I totally forgot one more thing because they're hanging down here. I finished all the totes. So they are all done. I have three of these because there's two that I already had made and then three of these guys. So now I can make some other totes. Definitely six was too many to make at one time. Uh, I know my limit now. I need to only make maybe two or four. I can't make an odd number. Can't do that. But uh, probably two or four next time and then I can get them done a little faster. All right, here are the four different piles to be washed. They've all been surged. So as you can see, I separate them by colors. It took me about three, four hours to surge them. And since there's four loads, if it takes 30 minutes for wash, 30 minutes for dry, at least an hour each, that means it takes about seven hours for me to process some fabrics. Check this out. The cherry blossoms. Why do I keep saying that? Dogwood flowers. Um, this fabric, six yards. If you want to know how much I paid for it, go ahead and check out the video I posted on Tuesday of the crafting haul with all these fabrics. Today is Wednesday, June 2nd, and let me show you what I've got done. So I finished all the napkins and their coasters. 
Here's the coasters. So I have four napkins and then I have six coasters. So four coasters will go with the napkins as a bundle and uh, it can be purchased together. I also sell the napkins by themselves, but I just like having the coaster with the napkin just in case if the coasters all sold out individually, then I wouldn't be able to remake them for some of these fabrics. Like this one, if you remember, was a remnant, so I don't have any more of it. And um, like last week when I was at Chartreuse, or maybe it was the week before, huh, it's all blending together. Um, when I was at Chartreuse, I had two sets of avocado napkins. One set was just the napkins and one set was the napkins with the coaster. And the woman just wanted the napkin. She didn't want the coaster. And I was like, go ahead and take them out. Like, I just wanted to make sure that if someone did want them, that I still had them all. All right. And then I also finished the scrunchies. So when I bought um, the yard of the snail and the daisy, all those fabrics I just showed you, I used every piece except for the little thin little scraps. So we got scrunchies. I already made the mini pouches, which I showed you guys um, in the last video. Here, let me show you what I mean. These pouches. Oh, I need to put the key, for, key ring on it. So these pouches. So the napkins, the coasters, the pouches, and then the scrunchies. And I used up the whole yard. And then I have the patriotic scrunchie done. I need to finish the I need to finish the bow tie and rewatching the tutorial. I screwed up when I cut this. This is actually supposed to be one piece and then you cut another one because I was wondering how do you do this? Like this doesn't make sense. Like this is only half. I screwed up. So, I need to cut another piece and then um I'm going to sell it as a bundle. And then what else did I? Oh. I finished one grocery bag holder and I have three others uh, ironed so I'm gonna go ahead and finish those up um, I'm really trying to get at least one of every item on my uh, inventory sheet done and because I need to take photographs like I said and update my Etsy so it's all ready to go it's also really helpful for applications for events some events you just email the person and they're like pay a hundred bucks and you're in some events it's like fill out a thousand word description of how you made this product and submit five photos but it has to you have to say what every product is inside of it and the cost and the dimensions and all that sort of stuff and then you can only have one booth photo so it's stressful uh so i'm trying to make sure i have good photos of all my stuff and then like if i can only submit three photos then multiple items need to be in that photo right now i have a photo that has quite a few sewn items and then a couple cards and then the wood signs because that shows the three categories of what i can do but then it still doesn't show everything that i have so it's definitely a hurdle that I'm trying to get over right now, and um, I really want to make my Etsy look more cohesive, so shooting for the stars up here. I need to get this done. Hopefully I can. All of the fabric is out of the wash now. It's been washed, it's been dried, but it's super wrinkly, so I need to iron this whole pile and then start cutting it up or putting it on comic boards. This pile here is the leftover from the previous week thrift haul so I've got quite a bit of fabric here yeah I need to put these on boards or I need to cut them up it'll take me probably an hour or two to iron that whole stack of fabric and then it'll be ready for use so like I said before it takes quite a while from the time that I get the fabrics to the time that I actually use them and normally that's why I wait like as you guys see it's a couple weeks of getting stuff before I even wash it because I'm not going to wash two fabrics I mean if I need to use it right away then that's fine but normally I let the pile accumulate before I start working on it. Anyways, uh, a new item that I got is this um, faux leather. So I got an America pack and oh, it smells so gross. So uh, this America pack and then this like just everything pack. And there's three different items I wanna make. So the first one is a wallet. This is my first attempt. So you put your card right here, right here. Here's my second attempt. So I'm getting better at it. I need to keep trying. And then the last thing is uh, a key fob, which I'm all out of hardware, but you put the little key fob thing up here. And then the third item is to make a chapstick holder. So it's like a, 
a shape like this with a cutout and then you stick the tube of chapstick inside of it and it has a key ring at the top. So those are the three items that I'm hoping to bring to the shop in the next couple weeks, but we'll see what happens.